Hey, yo. I got kicked out of multiple classes in middle school and high school for talking about what's happening right now. I wrote a report as far back as 1992. I wrote a report about Malcolm X. I did a research paper and I talked about how the, the white moderate is one of the most dangerous things on this planet. And I said, because the white moderate would allow other white racists to exist and want to talk to them and want to be their friends. Everybody thought I was big crazy. Y'all thought I was nuts, man. Y'all y'all thought I was crazy. And I know it's not uh, very mature to say I told you so, but I'm saying it. I told you so. I've been saying this literally for years. Facebook been taking my videos down. YouTube's been taking my videos down. I got songs flagged and taken down. Spotify wouldn't upload certain songs. I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all. The Civil War was not over. I've been saying that since the 90s. The Civil War never ended. If me and three of my black friends had tried to do the same thing, we'd be shot right now. Period. 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 Kids don't smoke. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When, when women tried to march for the when women marched for their rights, they didn't break into the Capitol. We had a million man march, didn't break the cop, you know. Yo. If it, they don't, bro, if this was, if there were that many brown and black people and scattered women and gays and trans people, they would have nuked that spot. Everybody out here watching that that don't got a firearm, you are crazy. You are loony. These people will hurt you and they have the, and they have the protection of the government. Think about it. These people stormed the building where... Pence and Trump and all them are at, like, Trump wasn't even there. Pence was there. They ran and got him secure. I thought, what happened to back the blue? They out there fighting cops now, which just became a misdemeanor. Just so y'all know, that's a misdemeanor now. Interesting uh, timing, right? Yeah, fighting the cops no longer a felony. So keep in mind, watch the videos. Remember how they responded Police kill black children. People go stand in mass. They get shot with rubber bu bullets, tear gassed, all that. See, go watch. Go find a live feed right now. See what's happening. See what's going on. How many? How many people been shot? How many rubber bullets been fired? How much tear gas been dispensed? Like I said, man, y'all are crazy. If y'all y'all are crazy, y'all got a firearm. You are nuts. You are nuts. Enrique, they might have uh, turned the sound off. Stuff like that happens to me sometimes. Like they'll, they'll, This video is probably going to get flagged. You know, just so y'all know. So watch it. Enjoy it. I'm going to download it, but it's probably going to get flagged. Like I said, man. If you ain't never been in a fist fight or firefight or nothing like that, man, get ready. Because realistically, there's literally no other choice now. I've been saying this for a long time. Like I said, a, bunch, a lot of y'all thought I was crazy. That's fine. I might be crazy. Who knows? But if you don't think that a, a violent response is necessary, then something's wrong with you. I don't care how nonviolent you are. Pacifists... Are, are they're worse than the people committing the acts? And sw and I swear down right now, if anybody in your time your timeline, anybody in your friends list, anybody in your family, if any if everyone that's not everyone that's not up in arms about this right now needs to be murked. Everyone supporting this needs to be popped. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They play with safe stuff. They go places where, look, you don't, you, you don't see them in Southeast. You don't see them in Anacostia. They're not in Virginia where it's an open carry state. Even when they went to Virginia, where'd they pick? They picked a super soft place. They went to Charlottesville. Ain't no riders in Charlottesville. It's a liberal paradise. And what do liberals do? The KKK show up, they want to yell at them and talk to them. Nah, you pop them. You pop on them. That's it. That's it. Look, 19, in 2016, 
the KKK and the CSA and the Warlock uh, Motorcycle Club try to come to Leesburg in March. I, I no. I did my. I, I started. That's when I started posting videos with guns and all that, letting them know like this is what. Try and march down my street where my children live. You're getting popped. Like I said, anybody not up in arms about this, run my fade. I am so through with all this, man. And the funny part, I'm not surprised. I know a bunch of y'all out there are in shock and awe right now. If you're shocked and in awe, then you haven't been paying attention. This is what this country was built on. This country was built on systemic racism. Period. That has been the only, the only thing America has invented was our level of racism. Ryan, you're exactly right, man. Like I wrote, I wrote about that in a research paper. I wrote the pacifists are most are, are discussing it. and um, like if you passively sit by during a situation, you got to get got, man. You got to get got. And and and, and moving forward, man, we got to bring back drop squad type activity. Every person of color that's out there protesting needs to be exiled or popped, man. I'm telling you. I'm using the word pop because I'm trying not to get in trouble. But you know what I'm saying? I think y'all know exactly what I mean. Some of my homies wonder, why, why Derek always got like seven magazines on him? Why he keep an AR in the trunk with like... 40 magazines on it. This is why. This is why. These people, if you don't believe, and, hey, and all of my, my Democrat, leftist, whatever, whatever you want to call yourself, all my anti-gun people, y'all can get popped too because these re, these people are the reasons for high capacity, uh, uh, high volume magazines. They're the reason for high velocity discharge on a firearm. Automatic weapons and 100 round drums were made for crowds like this. Period. Like I said, you disagree, then we ain't folk. I don't even know why you're watching this. There's no way you paid attention to anything I said the last fucking 15 years. I ain't even mean to curse, but the last 15 years, and, and you're shocked right now. Ain't no way. Even if you didn't pay attention to actual history, even if you didn't know history, even if you didn't pay attention to nothing, just listening to people like me. Everyone's like, why aren't the police doing anything? The better question is, why are you so naive to expect them to do something? What do you expect them to do? Huh? What do you expect the police to do right now? These are their homeboys. They're not going to fight their people. Look up how the look up how the police force was even formed. They were they were down there they were hunting slaves. I'm telling you, if y'all knew the genesis and origin of the majority of the laws in this country and, and the way everything's set up, you would know it's literally designed for stuff like this to happen. Like I said, man, y'all, y'all, man, so like I, all I got to say is go today, take out a loan if you have to, whatever. Sell a prized possession, do what you got to do, but go out and get you a high powered rifle today. I assume you already have a pistol. If you don't, get you a pistol first because you want something small and concealable. But get yourself a pistol today. Complete a concealed carry class today. Start training with your friends today. Start exercising more. Uh, you know, send some rounds just to, to sight your, your weapons in. Practice your knife play. Keep a baseball bat in your car. Do whatever you got to do. But but it's, it's going down. And it needs to go down. 1865 was a joke. Okay? The Civil War never ended. I don't know how many times I got to say it. I don't know who I've got to say it to. I'll shout it from the rooftops. The Civil War never ended. 
There's no way civil war actually ended and people could still run around saying treasonous things. Go to Germany and try and wave a, a, a Nazi flag. See what happens. Go to El Salvador or, or, or Venezuela or somewhere that's had a civil war and preach good about the last people. See what happens to you. America is the only place where you can run around with a Confederate flag, a half Confederate, half Nazi flag on your truck and nothing happens to you. Right next to your Trump banner. Like I said, man, to all my people out there, if you still have anybody in your life that supports Trump, you're part of the problem too, man. This is beyond unbelievable. It's beyond unreprehensible. But sadly, it's completely believable because, again, this is the design. This is what it was set up to do. This is exactly, the, the, right now, the government, the police force, everything is working exactly how it's supposed to. That should frighten you. You know, I'm not going to go in the house just yet. I'm too tight. I'm supposed to go, I still got a little bit of time before I got to help the kids with their homework. And I, I'm, I got I to gotta get this energy out before I, I don't bring this kind of energy in my house. But me and my folk been talking about this kind of stuff since the 90s, since we were kids, since, since we were little youngs. Like I said, this should not surprise anybody, man. This is exactly how this country was set up to run. Exactly how this country is set up to run. Like I said, man, train with your family, have your supplies ready. Um, get your weapons and all that. Like, like I said, if you got kids, you, you, you need at least one hammer for every child. Like, like I said, man, it, 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 it ain't no, there's no dispute about what's going on right now, how it's happening, why it's happening. Again, if you have no issue with what's happening right now, you should get popped. This is treason. This is treason. Everyone physically supporting it should be exterminated. Period. Period, bro. Yo, and Ryan, you're right with the Marvel movies because if you if you ask me, Professor Xavier um, was a total shit heel. And I'm gonna tell you why. Xavier is a total shit heel because. Magneto was right. Just like Killmonger was right. T'Challa a great dude. But Killmonger was right. Killmonger was right. The only way to set this right is damage. Big damage. Killmonger was right. Magneto was right, man. Magneto was right. Hey, they're going to persecute us for being different. We have the power to wipe them all out. Let's do that. That's what they... Sh I'm telling you, man. That's why I love the Marvel movies and all that, but I can't watch them because they're too wholesome. I can't watch people like that. I can't I can't, I can't. can't sit and enjoy and observe and, and, and suspend my disbelief. Even in like G.I. Joe and shows like that, they were, and Batman and all these... They, they capture the bad person and then let them go or don't murk them or nothing. I'm telling you, like, no half measures. Cannot be half measures. No half measures, man. The government does not have your back. The police do not have your back. This country was set against you. So what are you going to do? T'Challa was a cold sucker, man. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I will say T'Challa and them, they were suckers because they didn't share their, their technology, at least with the rest of Africa. They hid it all from everybody. 
The Punisher absolutely had it right. The Punisher had it right. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I've been fortunate enough to um, to aid in about 100 or so people getting their firearms training getting you know getting firearms and getting their uh the concealed carry permits and, and all that last year it's time for all y'all to start carrying them things for it's all like like i said man it, it we'll just say those dudes got a lot of hemoglobin in their body and the ground is really dry all right it needs it, the ground should be squishy right now The ground should be squishy right now. The streets of D.C. should be red and squishy right now, but they're not. And I guarantee you, if people had gone to counter-protest, they'd have been met with more force. Daredevil was right, too. Shit, man. Even the bl- even the even the vampire. I even like the vampires in Blade more than I like Blade. I I can never watch any superhero that is even remotely polite to the villains. That's what this that's what this is, man. We placating villains. Matter of fact, I had a we I had a homeboy known as Deuce since like 1993, right? Never said nothing political. Never cared about none of that stuff. Was completely self-absorbed. A self-absorbed scumbag. I actually thought Duke was Spanish because he used to say the N-word all the time and he looked Spanish, right? Come to find out he super white. His dad racist as shit and all that. Who you think warped, like what, what, what time period you think I discovered this dude was a scumbag? 2015, 2016. When old boy ran. Um, when, when homeboy ran for presidency, old boy showed his colors. Next thing you know, he out buying guns and all that. He even knocked up a black chick. He won't marry her, but he even knocked up, had two babies, and then raising them in a household to hate they self. Perpetuating that cycle. Like I said, man. You might have to put somebody down that you grew up with. Start evaluating those people now, man. Get your list ready. Yeah. Joe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That dude didn't live way too long. Way too long. And that, and that, and, and that, that, that story is actually typical for a lot of people from Loudoun County. There's so many cats we grew up with that were so down for the cause and liked to, to have sex with black chicks and wanted to smoke weed and rap or whatever. And now where are they? Some of them are probably out there beating up on cops. That one slipped through the cracks. I take that one on the chin. I don't. I didn't detect dude as a complete piece of crap and a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, not a wolf, more like um, like a mangy fox. You know, like some animal. But like I said, I've been saying these things since the early 90s when I taught black history in my elementary school because Middleburg Elementary in 1990, 1991, 1992 did not have a black history curriculum. My uncle Gary, rest in peace, helped me devise a curriculum. I taught black history. I've been saying for a really, really long time the Civil War never ended. I've been saying for a really, really long time it was going to have to get ugly. I really, really hope y'all are watching this. And, 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 and if you're not watching it, absorbing it, I don't know what to say. You're either cool with all everything they're doing and you're, part, you're the enemy, or you're so, so weak-minded that you couldn't be utilized as a tool anyway. This is unconscionable, the way that this country operates. He's a dingo. Man, that's almost an insult to dingoes, bro. 
I don't even want to name any breeds or anything. Because I don't I don't want to insult any breeds. But dude is dude is Like I said, man. Make sure you got that thing on you. High capacity magazine. High velocity uh, firearms. Do, go do some push-ups. Get you a bike. Get your cardio up. It's going down though. It's absolutely going down. As my as as uh yeah, the Inquisition never ended. Um, like I said, the Civil War in this country never ended. This this is all happening by design. I mean, half of y'all probably don't even realize that the, the pilgrims that came over here and the colonizers that came over here that claimed to be running from something brought worse things here. They came over here and literally did the exact thing, same thing that historically they've claimed to be railing against. No, they just came over to expand the empire. You yeah, know, he's definitely a case study. I, I don't, I, I only take it to heart for in the um, the sense of I'm surprised I got duped. I guess I don't, I don't kick myself in the butt for it too much, but I got duped. You know, like I said, dude, dude paraded around and did, and he said he, he was a master manipulator. You know what I mean? I got duped. I'm usually pretty good at being able to pick out the scumbags. Usually my, like my spotty sense of tingle, you know, but I got, I got caught off guard this time. I wear that. I wear that. But he's absolutely a case study. He's definitely, he's, uh, he's, you know, potentially even worthy of, you know, being one of those, like, yeah, man, like I said, bro, this is, uh, The line of the cement has been drawn and, and widened and deepened today. What say you, man? Where do y'all stand? Like I said, typically I wouldn't do that. I told you so, but I'm, I did, I'm doing that today. This is almost popping off like to the T of how, how I expected I mean, I guess one good thing is, you know, a potential positive thing is a lot, a lot of those people are going to catch COVID today. The hospital beds are real full, so, you know, they won't even be able to accept them all. And hopefully a lot of them will just suffer at home. And anybody in their family that supported it, hopefully they get sick too. Um... Yeah, I'm I'm hoping that this produces a lot of obituaries. A lot of obituaries need to come from this gathering. Whether natural or whether organic or inorganic, but a lot of obituaries need to happen from this situation. And it's funny too because we you know we already knew not to trust people with huge American flags or like that kind of stuff. There's certain demographic uh spe- specifications that we have always known to look for. Now, those things are like a target for me. Like I said, Really wish I could go shooting today. If I didn't have to take these damn kids to get their hair cut. I 
I really need to go shooting today, though. Like I said, man, just make sure you make sure you get your issues. Like, uh, you know, like Flo Rida would say, man, presumably now it's going down for real. If my page gets blocked or banned, or, or anything, we, you guys know what's up. If you don't hear from me for another 30 days, you know what's up. Last time I did a video like this, yo, those dudes are on the losing side. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. I'm a, I'm, why am I upset? Because the shit, I, I'm processing out loud, the shit shouldn't be happening. Period. And it's deeper than just these MAGA dudes. Again, this is... Those individual dudes out there, yeah, let them all die. That's cool. They all... I'm, that's what I want. But that doesn't, that doesn't stop how this happened. That doesn't stop the fact that they'll be able to do this again. Like I said, like... Things are going to have to happen that are very, very, very uncomfortable for any genuine change. Marching, uh, holding hands and shit, praying, none of that stuff does nothing. It's cute and all that, but it doesn't do anything. Like I said, something real, real bad gonna have to happen, man. Real, real bad gonna have to happen. Shit, man, I get I mean I get upset when I stub my toe on the on the bed. Having an emotional register, there's nothing wrong with that. It's how you respond to that. Now I'm not out here doing nothing stupid, or I didn't go pick a fight, I didn't go to DC. I'm processing out loud, like I said. And and I'm and again, the fact that for years we we had these conversations, Joey. See again, I'm not like I love Joey. Joey's good to for these conversations because then I have to explain some of my, like, back thought. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've talked about this for whatever. We knew this was going to happen. But there's so many people that I respected or cared about that are literally in awe and in shock right now. And it's like, how? How were y'all in shock? How were y'all in awe right now? How are you surprised? Nah, you should just be tight about it. Like, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Everyone that I know that is okay with this is a sucker. Like, you should. these are situations to use to equate the people around you. Equate your position in this whole fight and, and moving forward, you know, find an approach together. Yeah, I mean... To be honest, man, I'm more upset that, you know, I got out of work early than what's going on. Like I said, cause I'm not surprised. I had a, I had a um, thing cancel on me today, so I had time. I actually would have preferred to have been working. But, like I said, man... Mm -hmm. Y'all be easy, man. Y'all be easy. <laughs>